Hey dinosaurs, I'm Dan. So basically last week I saw some thick Lego dinosaurs online, a Lego Brachiosaurus, okay, you see the picture right over here, and some really cool and nicely colored thick Lego. So I thought we should get them and take a look at how good or how bad they look like. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so the Lego Brachiosaurus is finally assembled. I mean this fake Lego Brachiosaurus. So overall, it looks pretty good, but it has many flaws, okay? So firstly, I had a hard time trying to assemble this because all the parts were very, very difficult to place them together. So that's one bad point. And if you take a look at this neck right over here, this portion is very, very flimsy, but it's still pretty good because you can still rotate this neck and lift it upwards like this. But this part is very flimsy and it keeps falling down. But overall, still pretty okay. If you take a look at the jaw, you can open this part as well. The legs, there are plenty of articulation, okay, two points. And you can see the front legs are actually longer than the hind legs. That's because it is a Brachiosaurus. So they got this spot on. Very cool. What about the tail? The tail can't be rotated like the Indominus Rex or the T-Rex, but um, it's not soft as well. It's not made of rubber. It's pretty hard. And you can see some brick spots right over here on top of his body. So you are able to place minifigures onto this. So overall, how would I rate this Brachiosaurus? I'll probably give it a 6 out of 10. Yeah, it's pretty good, I would say. I love the sculpt and yeah, what do you guys think? Drop a comment down below. Let's proceed to our next figures. Okay, next let's assemble this Spinosaurus. It's gonna take a while and I probably won't do a um take a pair of scissors to cut this open. Okay. I'll probably won't do a fast forward because this should be a simple um assembly. So let's fix the head up first. There you go. I love the colors, which is why I've purchased this. I think the colors are really, really amazing. It is like a mix of green and um, blue and white. So it looks really refreshing. Okay, um, for the legs. Okay, let's see which one do we use. This should be a very, very simple assembly, okay. This, sh this assembly should be very simple that you can also do it on your own. So this is our second thick Lego dinosaur of the day. You know, overall, I like this a lot. I'm gonna give this a rating um, of eight out of 10. What about, what about you guys? Please let me know. Okay, let's proceed to our next figure. All right, let's go with the purple T-Rex first. I want you guys to let me know which is your most favorite dinosaur. For me, I think most of you guys will know that you know my most favorite dinosaur is actually the T-Rex. Yeah, what about you guys? I think um, a lot of people will actually select a T-Rex. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna fix this up. Okay, we're almost done. So this is the T-Rex, yep, a purple T-Rex, looks pretty good, purple and pink, yeah, the, I feel the colors are really refreshing, what about you guys? Alright, so we have a T-Rex, we have a Brachiosaurus, and uh, we have a Spinosaurus, let's move on to the next one. Okay, next figure will be the Dilophosaurus. I have pre-assembled this to save us some time. Okay, so all we need to do right now is just to fix up the different pieces. So that can be done pretty fast. All right, 
There you go. The hind legs. Now the arms. And there you go, we have a new Dilophosaurus. I feel this color combination is really nice. I love the spikes and the stripes across the body. Looks really good. I'm gonna rate this um, 7 out of 10. The T-Rex, probably like a 6.5 out of 10. All right, let's move on to our next figure. Okay, next dinosaur, all right. It will be a sticky Moloch. So let's fix this up. We still need to fix the spikes behind the head. You guys know what is the nickname of a sticky Moloch? It is actually known as a River Sticks Demon. Yeah, pretty cool nickname for a um, herbivore, herbivorous dinosaur. It looks so, I mean, it sounds so ferocious and scary. River Sticks Demon. But it actually looks very cute. I, I, I feel, you know, from the Jurassic World movie, this is the Sticky Moloch. It has plenty of spikes behind its head. It looks very good, you know, this is like a fiery red color combination with yellow and yes, what a beautiful figure. I'm gonna rate this like 8 out of 10 for its color combination. I really love this paint scheme, it looks so cool. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, next figure that we are going to assemble will be this Triceratops, okay? So firstly, we need to fix the head. Just gonna do a zoom in. Let's fix this up. Just push this right in. And you have the head ready. So let's just place this onto the body. Okay, I'm gonna place the stronger legs behind. Right over here and the smaller legs in front. Yep. Yeah. There you go. And we have a beautiful Triceratops. And once again, I feel this color combination. It's so fantastic. And I love the white spots all over the body. You can even see like white spots on its crown. So it looks so beautiful. I'm gonna rate this 8.5 out of 10. So, um, so far, the Spinosaurus is my favorite, followed by the Triceratops. And of course, the beautiful Brachiosaurus right behind. What about you guys? Okay, let's move on to our next pack, which is a, um, another Brachiosaurus. Okay, let's assemble the Brachiosaurus right now, okay? I'm just gonna do a close-up. I'm dirty. Okay, so first let's fix up the head. I think maybe a zoom up will be better. And now the legs. I'm just gonna do a quick comparison between the legs, whether they are. Yeah, this is actually bigger. So the big one, the bigger one should be placed in front as um, it is a Brachiosaurus. What about all this? Let's do a size comparison. This is the biggest one among the three. And the smaller ones will be placed behind, but you can't really tell the difference because they look almost identical. So this is like a mini Brachiosaurus. It looks cute, but I don't really like how they have painted um, the eyes. It looks too a little bit too cartoonish to me, a bit too big for the eyes. The color combination is pretty cool. You can see some golden spots over the green body. All right, but in terms of the sculpt, I'm not a huge fan of this Brachiosaurus. I would definitely prefer the one behind, which looks so good um, right now, okay? So this Brachiosaurus, I'm gonna rate it like a five out of 10. What about you guys? Probably like a 5.5. .5. Okay, our next figure will be the Velociraptor. I feel this looks really amazing. You can see the beautiful patterns on the body. So let's assemble this. Okay, let's go and assemble this very cool looking raptor. I'm starting to love this raptor. Take a look at the eyes. They're painted so well and it looks so cool, so ferocious looking at the same time, very, very well detailed. 
Okay, let's place the legs in. Float by the arms. So there you go, a Velociraptor. This Velociraptor definitely looks super cool. I'm gonna rate this like eight out of 10 for its paint job. You know, just for the paint job, you can see the intricacy on the patterns on the body and the eyes, the eyes are just painted so beautifully. Wow. But too bad it doesn't have any um, paint on the toe claws or the teeth. Otherwise, this would have been like a perfect um, paint scheme. Yeah, but overall, I really like this Velociraptor. It looks pretty cool. Just gonna place this right over here. And now we are left with our last figure, which is a Pteranodon. And this definitely looks like a super cool looking Pteranodon. This seems like the most, um, the easiest figure to assemble. I would think so. Hopefully it is. So let's try to fix this up. Yeah, the wings. Just place it right in. Now for the head, so you can just snap this right in. Oh, there you go. And the lower jaw right at the bottom. Just when you say this should be the easiest figure to assemble and I have a hard time trying to place the lower jaw in. Okay, there you go. This is a Pteranodon and I love the paint scheme. It looks so ferocious, very mysterious and very modern looking. I love the, the yellow patterns on the black wings. It looks so cool. So this is the Pteranodon. All right, I think it's time for us to do um, like a recap. So this is the biggest Lego, definitely. I mean, this is a fake Lego, Brachiosaurus. With a Spinosaurus, Sticky Moloch, a um, T Rex, Pteranodon, Triceratops, Velociraptor, and this baby Brachiosaurus. Let's call it the baby Brachiosaurus. And which one is a favorite among all this? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine different fake Lego figures. Which one is the most favorite? If I were to choose one, I feel I am starting to like this. Brachiosaurus the most yeah I found this on um online and I thought you know maybe we should just get this and have a look and so far um initially I don't really think it was good but right now the more I look at it the more I like this what about you guys let me know down below and I will see you guys on Saturday for the next video okay hope that you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't do so thanks a lot Goodbye.